Hey, Michelle, how are you? <clears throat> I'm good. Okay. Got to have you in class. And let's see if there are other people going to join us today. So we're going to do a little bit of CMS map, um, and we are going to go over SQL map. So if you want to check out the lab for today. OK. Um, OK, so we'll go ahead and get started, I guess, <clears throat> if people join us. They will pop in soon. So as in the chapter, we touch on CMS, CMS map. So I want to spend a little bit of time showing you how you can use it to assess your website and web app. Um, it is open source. And as we learned that, we can look at the CMS tool like your WordPress, your Joomla, um, Moodle. Um, I think there were a few more that's on the list, but what you need to do is first, we are going to, um, as I'm using Ubuntu, we're going to clone the GitHub for CNS map. And as you do that, you are going to be able to have a directory called CNS map. So let's try to do the clone. So get clone. HTTPS, github.com, and we are going to obtain that from dial cmsmap.git. So I already have that. So as you run that command, you're going to be able to clone it. So once you have that clone, you will be able to access the directory. And then we will be able to actually install it. So we're going to go ahead and look at the directory now. <clears throat> and here is where we would need to do the install. So sudo python3, because it's written in Python, we're going to do a setup in, uh, setup.py install. So it's going to extract and um, make sure that the CNS, CMS map is installed. OK. So this is what you would have at the end. That's going to allow us to also set up the dependencies. Now, one of the things that if you do look at their repository, which is here, so let's go there real quick. Um, when you go through and you look at the installation information, it tells you that you need to set up the configuration file. Depending on how you brought in the actual package, so if you're doing sudo apt install, then you need to configure the file to to have the apt. Now on Kali Linux. Um, CMS map is included, so you just have to ma manage or reconfigure uh, the actual package by modifying the configuration file. In Ubuntu, since we have to bring that in through Git, so we are going to use, we're going to have to edit the configuration file to say that it's going to be the, the EDB type is going to be through Git. Now, before we do that, we have to bring in the database, the exploit database that it needs, OK? Because it's using the database to be able to identify the type of exploit for that web application. So we would need to do that. So first, what we're going to do is we are going to uh, test it, right? After we install, we're going to run Python 3 and cmsmap.py. That's going to be the file that came with the clone. And we're going to run the help option. So here, 
it tells you that you can use CMS map. And if you are looking for a certain type of tools, you can also use robots if you need to brute force um, and so on. So the help option shows you a little bit more about the tools command. Then what we're gonna do is we're gonna test it with a URL, okay? So now, oh, sorry, let me move it so I can actually, hold on one second. Let me scroll down. Let's move this. So we're going to do a Python 3 CMS map.py in the website. SPHP.vulnerable with com list products HP. So now if you do run that without the configuration file, because I have the configuration file, so it's gonna assess it. Okay, you are gonna see that it's gonna tell you an error. It says that it, you know, there's configuration file that that needs to be modified, your EDD type needs to be set, okay? And that's normal. You won't have something like this, is, it's because I already set up my configuration file. So it's gonna run and it's gonna assess the plugin. And um, it might take a little while for each of the scan that we're gonna run. So when you run this on step six, if it shows like some kind of error saying that you need to configure. That's normal. Take a screenshot and on it, it will tell you how you should modify your, the, the conf file, your cms.conf file um, to be able to, to be able to um, set up the configuration. But before we modify the file, we need to clone the <clears throat> export DB. And what you want to do is when you clone it, you want to bring in the directory OPT with the export DB. Otherwise, when you set up your configuration file, if it is mismatch, it's not gonna work. So we have to run two additional command to make sure that the export database is uh, downloaded and installed on the Ubuntu machine or on the, your Linux machine. Okay, so let me see. It might take a little bit. Okay, so while that's running, let me open up another terminal tab here. Let's... Okay, so I'm in this directory now, CMS uh, map. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna do a clone for the export DB. So sudo git clone. And we want to pull that from GitHub. Offensive security exploit tb dot and space opt. We're going to have a direct a directory and we're going to have it as exploit db. So it asked me for the password. So as I clone it already, it's already there, right? And it tells me that I already have it exists, but you need to clone it and make sure that you have this directory. So when you set up your configuration file, we're going to point to the directory where that exploit db should be. Okay, so that's an important step. I think on the documentation, when you come back here, um, it talks about that here, but it doesn't explain how to be able to do that prior to this. So um, when I troubleshoot it, that was where I would start. So 
Now we need to have the export DB and then we can also do the second command to make sure that the search exploit, which is a separate package that is under exploit is there. Otherwise, you're not gonna have all the tools that you need. So next, that's what I'm gonna do. So I'm gonna do a sudo ln sf and we're gonna do opt exploit db and we're gonna get search exploit. This our local bin search. Okay. So once you have that, then we are going to make sure that we install. So sudo python setup.py install. Python 3 meant to put. And it's going to bring in the packages for the exploit DB um, or, yeah, exploit DB and also search exploit. So that's done. So these are the dependencies that you would have. Mm -hmm. Good. All right. Then what we're going to do is we are going to after we have that ready. So that <clears throat> one of the important steps to make sure because it's gonna use that for correlation to what exploit would be for your web app. So now I'm gonna move into my CMS map subfolder. And in here, you can find a configuration file. So you have to go into the CMS map subfolder in lowercase. And then I'm going to do nano CMS map.com for the configuration. So here's the configuration file. It has the general information. Um, and then it has separate section like WordPress. So it's going to examine WordPress plugin. So when you scan, uh, when you run this map application, what's going to happen is going to go through each of these sections to look for Joomla, WordPress, Drupal, uh, Moodle. And then the last part is going to be your exploit DB section. So here we want to make sure that we put down Git instead of APT. Now, if you install it with APT, like what it would be in Kali, then you would use APT and then you would have to put in the proper directory for the exploit DB. Since we have it under OPT, we want to make sure that we have the, the EDB path set. So this is going to set your system path. So we want to make sure we change that to OPT and exploit DB. And once you modify it, then you would save your configuration file. And then you would be able to run the, the application, the CMS map, and it's going to be able to use the configuration file to locate exploit DB and be able to check the plugins. Okay, any question? So I'm going to go ahead and exit. As I already saved it, but you can save it by doing control X and then yes for save. Now, <clears throat> looking back to the other, right? Here is, it's still going to be at 93%. So when you run the scan, what's going to happen is it does take a little bit to go through. And if, um, it's going to go through here and it's going to give you like how many threads, uh, the domain, the IP address, the website information, the server type. Um, and then it's going to show you the OS <coughs> version for that server. <coughs> Excuse me. And then it's going to look at the security policy. So here, because it's vulnerable, we see that it's not enforced. 
And then looking at X content, no robots. Um, and then it's, th so for the CMS detection, it saw WordPress and then some of the services enable. And as WordPress is very popular, um, what you see is you, it's gonna be able to, to give you that. I do have some trace back for the thread five, as you can see here, cause it's looking at bootstrap and some of the plugins. So if it's missing something, it's gonna give you that. <clears throat> and then there is no control characters because the package is looking for that. So you do see some of that as a result. Okay, so let me go here. Now, um, let's try number 13 real quick so I can explain what that is. Python 3 CMS map dot pi and we are going to scan the same website. Home and if you scan like something like uh, wordpress.org, sometimes you also see more details as they use CMS. Okay. So here, these options, we are gonna look for WordPress. That's why you're using a W, okay. Yes, that is correct. It does take a little while. And it does take a little while to give you anything back. So you gotta give it time. So here we are gonna use the option for WordPress, okay. And then uh, no EDB and we are going to, so the help option that you saw, let's go back up here, right? So we're when you're using a capital F, that's gonna give you the full scan. And we're doing a full scan for, for that particular website. Then if you are using, <clears throat> If you're using a specific CMS like uh, WordPress, then you would use cap capital W, okay? Here it tells you that. If you want to check for just Joomla, you just use capital J or capital D for Drupal um, or capital M for Moodle. So you can specifically search for a certain CMS or scan for a certain CMS. And then the default is going to be five thread. So what we're doing is we're going to do a full scan and we're going to use the target uh, CMS as WordPress here. And we're going to set it up where it will be no EDB. And we are going to do the dictionary attack. Okay. So that way we can determine if there is some flaw in this particular web app or the, the website. Okay, so let me go back here. Oh. Sorry, I forgot to move back. So let's, I forgot to do this. I forgot to highlight that for you as well. So let me go back one directory and then I will run this. So everything should be run in the CMS map parent directory. Um, again, right, just like the other one. Now we're looking for WordPress only. So it's going to take a while to give you some kind of result. So it's gonna show you that it's gonna check certain files directory and it's gonna give you the general information like what you've seen in the last one here. Okay. And that's gonna um, give you some results. So when, you, when it goes through, it's gonna tell you how many objects it's gonna look through for enumeration if it's able to get to that point. Um, and then you can determine the answer there, okay? 
Now, if we're looking for Moodle only, we can replace the, the W with the M and then we can find the Moodle information. Any question? So as I'm running it concurrently, it's going to take a little bit to also set up from here because here I was at 93%. Earlier, I was having a little bit slower uh, performance. So it was only, I had to pause it at 17%, okay? But when you, when you look at this, what you will see is it's gonna look at um, mainly your content management system. So all of the, if it falls under WordPress or Joomla or Drupal, it's gonna give you some kind of output. Yeah, so now it's, we're gonna be crawling slow on the second one. Okay. Yeah, all right. So let's give it a little bit of time. I am on a virtual machine, so it is a little slow as well. Now, if you um, if you want a little bit more information on this, right, on your options, on the commands that you use or how you use to target, um, you can also go to their README on the GitHub and be able to look at some of the example, um, how to use the options. So this tool is definitely useful, especially for the common web platform that if they're using CMS, you can use it to assess. Um, But the important part is to, in order for it to really get working, we're gonna make sure that we configure it. So that's that's what would stop it from working properly. Okay. Okay. So once you have the result, you can provide the screenshot and take a look at the output. And then you can uh, go through and answer the question. Now, if you want a little bit um, more fast and response, you can test something like wordpress.org and see. And so it's going to give you, you know, more results in that. I've tested with a few uh, domains and um, so that way I can see the difference in how it, it, it analyzes the CMS. So if you have a specific domain that you want to test and you know that that domain uses CMS, then you can try that, okay? I simply use the book example. They use this particular site. So that's that's what we were incorporating in the lab. Okay, so let's see, I'm 11 on this one. I'm gonna go ahead and close one of the terminal and see if it will pick up. Probably didn't stop the process there. Now, if you're using Kali, Back to the README page, right? Like I said, Kali, depending on how you have, so Kali has it as the uh, APT, so that's what you need to modify. And you can also use pip3 to install, but um, you have to clone and then move into the directory before you can install. And we did that through Python, so it's a little bit different that we're using the Git. Okay. 
So I have connection timeout on that. So it stops at like 11%. Possibly because I ran another scan and then I rerun the scan. So that's, yeah. I know it's crawling slow sometimes and then sometimes it it is fairly fast. So earlier when I did that, it was 93% and then it, it kind of slowed down. So hopefully you'll be able to have some result there. Now, while we wait for that, I want to show you, I put in the link here. I think if you uh, search for SQL map, you will find that they do have a good series of demo for SQL map. And um, so you can also practice by following their tutorial videos. Okay. Now, this is, you know, as we covered this in the text, I wanted to make sure that, you know, we can implement it in our lab exercise. So the second part of the lab mainly addresses SQL map, which is the, the tool that we can use for pen testing or de detecting exploit on for SQL injection. In the book, it does show you the script in which at the end we can write a script that's equivalent to what you see with um, the features on your SQL map. So if we know that it uses a database server, we can um, implement or we can use SQL map to be able to determine if the database is vulnerable. So this gives you a few things, right? Um, it's going to be able to fingerprint and then looking at data from the database. And then it's also going to examine a uh, file system and then to be able to execute commands. So just like the last one, in the second part, we will also have to do get clone. So let me double check on my, yeah, I'm getting uh, an 11%. So let's. I'm going to open this and let me demo it. So now let's, I'm going to move back to the home. So while we wait for that, we're going to do a git clone def one https github. Um, SQL map project SQL map dot okay. map TV. Okay, so let me try something here. We don't have to. Okay, let me see. Let's check here. So under documentation, if you look at the documentation for SQL map, we're gonna clone, which we did. And then on here, you can look at the user manual or the tutorial video. 
on the right hand side, you would see some introduction information. Okay, so simply we can um, use the browser to access the target. And here, what we're doing is we are going to inject different values um, for the ID into the actual URL. And with that, we're going to query, right, based on whatever the value that you set. Okay. So in the example here, they show that you can use the target URL and it would be either with an IP address or the domain. And then you simply would <clears throat> use the SQL map and we would um, set up what the ID value would be. So we can say Firefox. What was it? I have turned off my VPN and it's taking a while to load. Okay. Yeah, my connection also time out too. It could be that it's dropping it from there in as well. It's not responding. So that's okay. Um, for 15, when you, or for, for 13, when you do that, right, um, you take a screenshot and then you can just put that connection timeout. Yeah, I, when I did it earlier in the day, it was responsive, but now I think it's just slow. So it's not able to get anything back. So now let me see. Oh, okay. 15 is time. Okay, let me test that right now. I'll let you know. Um, I want this. My browser is acting slow. There we go. So we're gonna do HTTP. HTTP on and web dot com. Oh, map. Yeah, I think the site itself is a little unstable. So you, you're you gonna get that as well. You're gonna get some kind of timeout, so. What?
I know on this side they use cat, so let's see. So if you take out this, let me try it with a different URL, I'll modify that. Yeah, so like if we try the things in the book, right, it does work. Oh. I will give you this. Let me copy this for you. So and then we do cat one. But I think when you put in Hold on one second, let me see if I can find their public website. So cat one it works on the URL, but if we do the map for it, hold on. Bye, have a good one. Trying to look at their public website. Okay. Yeah. Use this. Yeah, I'm not able to find it. Okay. Okay, but let me um. One second, I'm going to try a different website here real quick. Okay, 
able to get half the site that or So Let's try it with the different URL. Okay. Do this one. Yay, I got it. Yeah, it tells me that it's not 100% successful. This is not found on the server. So for the SQL map part. Yeah, when we put in, I think they might be just blocking it. So let me test it on here. P and then we're gonna do ID is one. Yeah, so it's not, it tells you, you can't inject it on there. Okay. So if you use, um, if you're unable to use the other one, because I think the other one, you have to use cat, like what the book shows, okay? If we, if we use this, what will happen is you have to, you can modify this to, what was it? I had the... Yeah, you use this link right here. If you if you use it, cat is one, and then you can try plus one. Right on the your regular browser, even on the outside. So when I do a one plus one, I, it tells me that it's a SQL syntax. Right. So for the other one. I'm going to edit this. Okay, so let's try one and plus one. So one.
is so that won't map it. So it won't go to um if you do a cat with that it won't work. Hold on real quick, let me take I got the request URL was not found on the server. Yeah, so that means that what it is is that the it won't be able to map it. So it can't plug in the integers and it can't apply that. So it, it's either that they're on their SQL, it's not going to accept that or that doesn't exist. So you might get an error. Yeah, I, I was just trying out different things. So if you omit, um, if you try with cat, it works. They don't use the ID, so it's not indexing to. Yeah. This URL by itself works, right? And then you can add to next to the cat, but I think the ID won't work, so I have to modify that. On, I try hack this site and I couldn't. I couldn't use the SQL map with it either. So what I'll do is for step 14 to 17, um, I will have to troubleshoot that and then I'll come back to that, okay? And then on the last one, we will just have to write the script to see if it's gonna be able to See, on this one, they, they're also using the cat instead of the ID, so you can insert directly on um, for the payload. So it's going to do the cross-site scripting, and then it's going to do the SQL injection. Okay, so for the script for 18, um, I think we touched a little bit on this during the lecture, but we're using record request and the sys uh, module. Then you just need to specify your target, which is gonna be the test PHP. And we're gonna set up a list for our payload. So that will be the script and we want to have the alert, right? And then for your image source, that's gonna be the alert with this, with the cross-site scripting XSS. So because it's going to use the post um, in for the injection, then we're going to first get the URL. So that's going to issue the get. And then for the payload, we are going to use a for loop to be able to get the response for the payload. And then we're going to print out some information for the payload. Okay, so since we have time, I'm gonna go ahead and do that here. So then I'll inject, uh, what was it? SQL inject. That py. More requests. Import sys, and we're going to set URL is going to be H HTTP test HP dot one com. We have the list products HP cat. show is FS injection Oops. and uh, we're going to have a list so that will be script
Right. And we're going to close our tags for the script. So that will be here. And the image tag and source image is so script alert. In response is request dot get and that will be URL plus initial if my SQL in response so now we're going to set the condition or you have an error in your SQL syntax, which is normal when you trying to inject and it's not the right syntax. So you should get something like that in response that to text or let's see. Let's go up too far. Syntax error. If you have a syntax error in response, that text. Then we're going to print site vulnerable to SQL injection. Then we're going to have a for loop payload in x as <clears throat> injection you're going to have response is request that get URL and payload. It in response that text, then we're going to print. The program is vulnerable. Then again, we are going to print payload stream is and Response dot text. Control X, yes, save. Let's run it. Python three SQL inject dot py. Oh, I have this. Oh.
Let me pull this down real quick. Trying to script four pages screen site vulnerable and catch. Yep. You should get uh, the because it's able to when you can cat it with the different values. Yeah, it's vulnerable to the injection. So. Yes, that's what you're supposed to have. So. So once you have that screenshot it and then. Um, so because it's examining the, it uses the payload, right? And then you would enumerate or iterate through that to be able to do the injection with the payload there. So with the post for the response, that's how it's able to submit the injection. So you can explain uh, the mechanism of that in the script and be able to do that. So what I'll do is that I think I need to fix this section for the SQL map. Let me troubleshoot that and see why it's not, it's timing out with the connection. So sometimes um, if it's not able to understand the SQL map, then it's gonna time out. But the script overall works. And this is the same script that the authors use. And we're using a site that uses um, MySQL. So we're able to test to see if it's vulnerable to injection, and it is. OK. So the form is fairly short. You, um, you were able to accomplish the CMS map, even though sometimes <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't go go through a hundred percent. Let me try something here. Oh. Let me fix this in text real quick and then response. And then I wanted to scan another site. So we'll see. Response request packet. Oh, I'm missing the S. So we're able to get this. All right. So let's let me come back to the top. Yeah, it, I don't think we can we can actually get through 100% to be honest with you. So I'm going to try it on a different site and I'll let you know right now. Okay.
So instead of using that website, I'm going to try it on Python 3 CMS map. .py and I'm going to try it on HTTP. Uh, I think it's HTTP WordPress.org. Or I have to move into the directory. So I'm going to scan WordPress and see if it's able to respond quicker. And so if it is, then we'll just replace the URL for the lab. Earlier when I scanned it, I got to like 97% on WordPress.org and then um, it kind of slowed down too. So yeah, definitely more information. Here. So you can try it with WordPress and and I think it's gonna respond a little bit better because the it's gonna be able to find like, you know, the CMS that they implemented. WordPress. So I'll fix this. For thirteen. or even before. Yeah, it seems like it's going a lot quicker with the ones that actually use um, a lot of the CMS or majority of the CMS. So WordPress, because it uses WordPress, so you you would get a lot of the information there. So it's a lot quicker. Yeah, so it's able to go through the plugins a lot quicker on WordPress. So you can try that one instead. Okay. I'm almost at 100% now, and it's only a few minutes. I think the other uh, website, because they don't use as much or mostly don't use any CMS, so that's why it's not able to get the information or it's not able to respond. So. It's stuck now at 99%. <laughs> okay, so at least mostly work and then you can do a full scan again or you can just run it with a certain option. So that should get some kind of response. I'm hoping that it's going to be able to give me the 100% now. Yeah, it looks like it raised, uh, it catch an exception there.
Okay. So the only section that I will fix is gonna be on the SQL map one, but the script does work. Um, so this part, we just gotta see how that would, that can be used a little bit better on the site. Now the challenge is that, you know, these sites use different things and then we'll just have to apply the tool and check the site. And sometimes you're gonna get an error. Sometimes you, it's gonna time out. And even if you're trying different parameters, you're gonna get some kind of error um, if, if they don't have a certain content on the database that matches the query, so. Okay. All right. Uh, Okay, so for number six, I just changed the URL. And then also 13, I just changed the URL to So let me re-upload this right now. So what I'll do is for now, you don't need to do 14 and through 17. Let, I'm gonna black this out for now, okay? Because, and then I will, that way you would have like the updated. Yeah, so for, for 13, I also changed the URL. So that would work with WordPress. I think it's more responsive because it's using, but here I am, I'm stuck at 99%. So you get through mostly, you know, you get a decent amount of report back uh, before this, of course, you can scroll up, but here. Yeah, so you, you get a decent amount of things back and it's gonna show you you know, the type of content that, that they use with WordPress. Okay. And then it's not giving me the rest left. So I'm, it's probably gonna stop right here. That's where it's gonna be. So let me re-upload this right now. So you have the, the later document. And then I'll recap. Okay, so what we did today was from the start, right? Um, if you're using Kali, um, you have CMS map and the way Kali brought it in is instead of using Git, it was an app. So because I'm using Ubuntu, you are cloning on the Linux release that doesn't have this, you would clone the repository. Then after that, after you clone it, you can move into the directory in which I did. Um, in order to run the command. Okay, so I have to be in the directory CMS map after I clone it. Then I would install it by doing the pseudo Python setup and it has to be inside this directory after you clone. Then what I would do is here, I'm gonna run the Python 3 command to execute the CMS map.py. Uh, that py with the help option from uh, from the clone. Okay, so that came from this re repo. So you didn't have to write anything there. So you can simply use it now by running that Python file with a URL or a domain. So your target domain is gonna be following. And so for the domain that uses um, content, uh, management system like WordPress, you are going to get a lot of the result. 
in the prior uh, instruction, I had used a website that doesn't have a lot of it. So it's going to be really slow going through and checking everything. So it has a hard time giving you back quick response. Okay. So after you run it, it's going to look something like this. Okay. It tells you because it's using EDB, um, you know, if you're getting an error back that it doesn't have a database. Okay, that was the intention here is that when you when you run it before you install the database, the exploit database, then it's gonna give you an error back. That's okay. Take a screenshot and then you you are it's gonna tell you to that you have to configure the file. So in order to get everything fixed, we have to bring in the exploit DB, which is what it used to assess whether that site has vulnerability. So you are going to clone the export DB, but we got to make sure that we use this directory. And then again, um, you are going to clone another package called search exploit. And search exploit works with exploit DB. So you got to bring those in. And CM CMS map, it needs that in order to run. Okay. So now, once you clone it, then you can install the ones that you clone. Then you are going to move into another CMS map directory, which is a subdirectory to the other one. The configuration file is actually there. So once you move into the subdirectory, you can access the configuration file. We have to modify the configuration file. And if you're using Git, you're gonna tell the EDB type as Git. If you're using pip, then you have to, you know, like for example, in Kali, it's already pre-installed. So they use APT. So your EDB type is gonna be APT. So here, we gotta make sure that we modify on how we downloaded and install our packages, okay? So earlier, since I'm using Git, right, for the exploit DB, I have to put git and then for the the path so that way it can locate it because I set that up here so it's going to be what exactly like that now if you're not sure you can go to their github readme page and it talks about that but it lacks information about bringing this in assuming that it's already there but not always that you would have export db available so it's always good to check and install. Okay, so after I modify my file, I would save it. I forgot to put that as well. Save configuration file. Then we're going to come back to our terminal and we're going to move back one directory. So you're going to leave the CMS map lowercase and you're going to come back to the parent directory CMS map. There, you will be able to use the tool. So here you would be able to run your CMS map and then you plug in your target URL. Now on this one, you're simply doing a full assessment where it's gonna run a full scan and you're only gonna use WordPress. So if you want to use Joomla, you just replace that with the capital J, or if you wanna use Moodle, that it's gonna be capital N, okay? So when we run that, it's going to go through quickly. So I'll show you how that is now. Hopefully, oh, I am stuck at that spot as well. So let me close that. Let me also close this. And open another terminal, let's see. So when you run this command, right, we just simply do a pipe. Oh, we got to move into CD CMS map because that's where we installed the tool. So now we can run the Python file. And you can just put in your target, HTTPS, uh, wordpress.org. 
and then you are going to put in your options F, capital W, and then we're going to do a full scan with no EDD and okay. So it's going to tell you which uh, IP and so on. And this is going to go for a few minutes as well. And hopefully you'll be able to finish and instead of stop at 99%. So when you scan like these, you know, expect it that it could be very crawling slow. Um, or in some cases, like it might not even be finished for hours. Okay, so just give yourself time, especially when you're trying to pen test and, and look at sites or web applications. Okay. Or sometime it's timeout and then you have to start all over again. So this is the nature of a lot of like, you know, risk assessment tasks is sometimes we go pretty far and then, you know, you you're back to square one again and it's requiring some patience. So as you, you know that when you do the competition, sometimes you face issues, you thought you were pretty far and then you have to come back and redo certain steps. Okay, so that's going to go and in this one, it's a little bit different than the other one in that we're only going to look at WordPress that is used as a CMS versus when you're just running just the target, like the number six. Um, when you're running just the target without the option, then it's going to look at everything. Is it using Joomla? Is it using Drupal? Is it using WordPress? So the scan is going to be a little bit more lengthy as it looks through all the plugins, right? Um, because now we're not just in in the earlier step where we're just examining everything compared to step 14, where we're examining just WordPress. Okay, so that's the difference. And then in the second part, um, I will fix this and then I will talk about it the next time. But I think, let me, let me unhighlight some of this so I can show you. Okay. So to use SQL map, right? Um, only 17 is actually, 17 needs fixing is the only one. And 16. So in order to bring in SQL map, you have to do a git clone and you're going to bring that in. You don't have to install it like the other one. Um, ideally, if everything works, right? If you're testing a site that, that is good, right? I So the site that we were using, the, the, the test PHP, what it is, is because it's using cat instead of ID, um, it is a little bit different. So you can actually try to inject directly into the URL instead of using the SQL map, okay? Now, if you look at their documentation, their documentation shows that you can use a target. Um, here, I'll show you where you can access it. But, you know, if you like, you can also watch their tutorial video. So when we go to the user manual here, uh, let's go here. They show that you can even use your, your browser, okay? And then put in the target domain. And then if you um, add in the, the extension SQL map, MySQL, if they're using MySQL that is, right? And then the criteria. So the things that you change throughout when you test this is your ID. So your ID, your index is one, um, your ID is going to be one. And so you put in different values here and operators to see if it works. And it's not always going to give you some kind of response. Sometimes, you know, it's going to tell you a syntax query error. Um, so what it is, is we're going to try different things um, to be able to get some kind of response from the server. Just like how 
we know that the the site that that is used in the book, the test PHP website, right? This site right here from the earlier one. Okay. Oh, I did change it. Um, it uses cat instead of ID. So it is a little bit different, but when you use that, you can inject directly into the URL. You don't really need to go through the SQL map in order to do that. Okay. So they did provide some resources on video and I put the link on your lab for you. So you can take a look and you can watch it and see how it's done. Um, and then you can also read their documentation. They talk about like how you can use different types of queries and then also some features on how you can implement this in, in for SQL injection. Okay. So injection is always a little tedious in that, you know, even if the tool works, sometime when you're trying to inject that could be, you know, that it's being blocked or it's not resolved. Um, so you have to, to um, go over again. Okay. So any questions regarding that? So I'll fix 16 and 17 um, to, and I'll test it with a couple of different sites and then I'll repost it again. So if you want to try SQL map, you can, but you don't have to as I black it out here. And then you can do um, the injection script that should work. Okay, so you can write the injection script. I tried using the SQL list and injection in the book using the competition, but there was no SQL injection on the website. Is there a longer list of injection to try? Yeah, I think if you go, um, let me look at the repo. Some of the repo, they actually have the list included. So let's see. Let's come back here and see if they have it for under seat format. It's a configuration. Let me see if they have any kind of other. Oh, they don't have it up here. I'll see if I can find some lists for you. But yeah, I think, um, you know, when you read through this documentation, they talk about like how you can use stuff with like MySQL compared to Microsoft SQL. Um, let's see if they have something for me. Error messages, specific features, dump all. I'm gonna try something here real quick. Come on. <laughs> it's still going. Okay, so let's add another one. Python three SQL map out. Oh. oh, I have to use the dot pi back. QLMap.py. All over the place this morning. Can't open a file, no such directory. Didn't we do a get on that earlier?
It works with Python on any platform. Okay, okay. You get all the options for the switch SQL map.py. That's what I use. I thought I did cloned a bit earlier. No, once authentication. Okay. Well, let me troubleshoot this, and then if I if I'm able to work out some of the simple exercises, let's see. I'll repost this. Okay. Yeah, so 78% from the original version of 13. Okay, so yeah, it's gonna be real slow. It's gonna be, it's gonna be a little bit, um, you know, even if you scan the the other site. So I am on four percent on this one, right? Okay, so if it gets stuck and if you're getting like some kind of response saying that it's not, it lost connection, then you just have to end it. But, uh, you know, so you do see a bunch of HTML files and that it use, they use WordPress for. So it's going to list the files. So it's going to look through the files and it's going to show you, oh, look, we have a password file. So we found some password files, some payment information files. <laughs> okay. And so on. So, and then you can also find other site that you want to test. You can do that. Any questions? Yeah, I'll look forward to see if there's a list that you can use that's a little bit better than what the book gives you for queries. Um, I thought I saw it on one of the repository a couple of days ago, but I might be mistaken because sometimes, you know, when you look through some of the repo for that, sometimes they already have certain things built already, so. Yeah, but I do recommend if you want to use the SQL map effectively, also look at their videos and then they have like other things. They present um, at various, you know, like at Black Hat and, and stuff like that. So some of these tools you do see that you do see that, you know, they have a lot of traction through the community because, you know, it's open source and it's useful. So. Okay, and then incorporate it with Kali and so on. All right, so all we need to do for the lab this week, the script, and then try to get through the CMS map. Okay, and if I am able to fix this, I will add it as an option for you if you want to run the SQL map. But you can also download the 
the repository. Okay, any questions? All right. So can I download the file now? Yeah, it should be there already. The the one that with the black out highlights. Yeah, I just uploaded it a few minutes ago, so it should be there. Yeah, I saw that this name pop in, so I uh, fixed that and I re-uploaded it so it doesn't confuse people who are, who are not here or who hasn't seen the beginning. So what's on Canvas is the latest asset just uploaded it, okay? Okay. So if you don't have any other questions, let me stop recording. <laughs>